subscribe, click the bell, and turn on all notifications. The one-stop destination for all WWE and AEW. Sean's View Entertainment. Well, yesterday we saw the end of July, and that is not a lie because now it, it, it is. We are now in the month of August. It is August 1st, and which means the hustle is real. The news and the rumors are going to come at you in an impactful speed, a very quick speed, a very steady speed, day in and day out, multiple videos a day. Remember to sign up to become a channel member today, and now everybody can donate with a super thanks donation in the comment section below if you don't want to leave a comment you can leave a super thanks donation if you don't want to leave a super thanks donation you can leave a comment or you can leave both and now i'll tell you this when you leave a donation i will shout you out in the next video in the next upload and i am going to be doing live streams at least i'm planning to do at least one or two live streams a week if not more, we'll see. We'll see how much the news and the rumors presents itself. But ladies and gentlemen, right at the top of the video, we are hearing massive rumors about the McMahons wanting to buy out, wanting to take over AEW. Also, Triple H has reacted to a UFC fighter, Corey Sanina, using pedigree, the pedigree, his finishing maneuver, as his secret technique. Samantha Irvin defends controversial birthday suit after following backlash online. Breaking news on Shane McMahon. WWE actually turned down Shane McMahon's return attempts after WrestleMania 39. Now, Shane McMahon did want to make a comeback. He did want to, he did want to make a return. But I guess, you know, the powers that be didn't want Shane back in the company. And do you think that Shane McMahon wants the last image of him being crippled at WrestleMania a couple of years ago? You're damn right. That will not be the last image because now it looks like Shane McMahon is trying to get his way back into the wrestling business. I know Shane McMahon has looked to get back to WWE. According to those in the know, according to the Rest Observer Radio, Shane has looked to get back in WWE. I know that the people in charge of WWE had no interest in him. Could that change with the idea that he would be willing to go to AEW? Maybe, maybe not. Shane got a lot, a lot of money if you compare the amount of money Shane got for the amount of work that he did when he was an active few times a year wrestler. It was a really high number. Meltzer also suggested that Shane's meeting with Khan from a day or so ago, private meeting, might be attacked to pressure WWE into offering him a return. He pointed out that WWE has no interest in Shane and that he negatively surrounded him has been a long-standing issue. When Shane had previously uh, walked away and when, uh, when was away from the company, the WWE didn't actually seek his return, and Linda McMahon had to push for it due to injuries and existing plans for The Undertaker. It is a leverage play for him to try to get back in WWE. Wouldn't surprise me at all, but I know from people in WWE, yeah, like I said, he's tried to get back and they don't have interest. There is a lot of negativity, I would say, uh, has been there for a long time. Him coming back, it wasn't like when uh, he was gone, they were begging him to come back. Linda pushed very, very hard for a long time for him to come back, and they took him back because there was injuries and they knew him and The Undertaker was going to do business. We also reported that WWE's internal reaction to Tony Khan and Shane McMahon's meeting was one in the company was particularly shocked by McMahon's actions. Regardless, only time will tell when Shane McMahon will do next as the world truly is talking about this. And as we all know, Shane McMahon, the best in the world. Speaking about another best in the world, viewers, fans, and subscribers, remember to become a channel member today. CM Punk reveals details about Jesse Ventura's interaction after a Monday Night Raw several days ago. And is it the final hurrah for Cody Rhodes? Ladies and gentlemen, according to those in the know, the dirt sheets, the websites, and the newsletters, Cody Rhodes plans his final WWE road trip with his dog, Farah, due to aging concerns. So it is the end of an era for Cody Rhodes' dog. Also, viewers, fans, and subscribers, Val Venus, Cody Rhodes, all in the news. Val Venus throws Tony Khan and Cody Rhodes under the bus for supporting an evil trans agenda. Agenda, viewers. Also, we are receiving word, CM Punk reveals that he wouldn't have returned to WWE under the Vince McMahon regime if Vince McMahon was still there. The only reason CM Punk is back is because Vince McMahon is not there. Now, CM Punk says that AEW airing his all-in fight footage felt really ugly. Also, we got breaking news 
as concerns CM Punk declines to comment on Tony Khan and Shane McMahon's recent private meetings. He has declined, and I'm sure for many reasons. Becky Lynch, guys, we got breaking news on Becky Lynch, the man, former WWE Women's Champion, former WrestleMania headliner. Becky Lynch stuns in a mesmerizing photo shoot amidst her free agency. Could Becky Lynch be going to AEW? Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions. Remember, the comment section is all about you on August the 1st. WWE Creative adds another former Tough Enough contestant to the creative team. Yes, there's been a major shakeup in the WWE Creative team. Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions on that, guys. Also, ladies and gentlemen, she's Ms. Money in the Bank. Tiffany Stratton channels her inner cowgirl in a pink bikini photo drop, which is definitely raising eyebrows online. Ladies and gentlemen, you might remember the name. You might have heard of him. Elias details his frustrations with WWE before his release. Go check out that online right now. And on top of all of that, viewers, fans, and subscribers, Shawn Michaels believes that the new NXT Women's North American title reflects the division's depth. And yes, it's all about new championships, new promise, and new opportunities. Ladies and gentlemen, we are also receiving word right now. We got a heartbreaker. We got a tragic update on Sasha Banks, the former Mercedes Monet on this very episode of Sean's View Entertainment. As it would appear as if Mercedes Monet has split. She is single. The divorce is out there. Everybody knows about it. And now, speaking about that, the WWE is accused of undermining the Wyatt Six mystique after their debut. Your thoughts? your comments, and your opinions on that. Also on the show here today on Sean's View Entertainment, we're also receiving word that multiple Hall of Famers could be in town for SummerSlam. Not the ones you already heard of, new unexpected ones. And is The Rock, is Dwayne The Rock Johnson going to be at SummerSlam? Is he going to screw Cody Rhodes out of the Undisputed title? Is Roman Reigns going to be there to make sure that that doesn't happen? Because Roman Reigns is going to feel as if he has been overtaken. He has been overlooked. He has been forgotten about. But Roman Reigns is quickly going to make everyone believe in him at the end of the day. Also, viewers, fans, and subscribers, we bring to you right now from In The Loop, it would appear as if a return to the ring is imminent. Ladies and gentlemen, we all heard about the injury sustained to the head of Jade Cargill. Well, it would appear as if Jade Cargill is ready and amped up for a return to wrestling in the ring once again. And it looks like her and Bianca Belair are going to be on a collision course to next year's WrestleMania, where the WWE is going to start a build to that between Bianca Belair and Jade Cargill for WrestleMania next year and what would be one of the biggest women's matches in history. Yes, you heard that right, in history history, guys. And remember, it's all about your views, your comments, and your sentiments. Also here on the show of the Brash and the Brazen, we are also receiving word right now. Again, we do all news in real time, so that's why it takes me a moment to pull it up. We do all news in real time. Brian Danielson putting his career on the line for the AEW World's title. Breaking news on War Games Survivor Series. The WWE Survivor Series War Games set for November 30th from Vancouver. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, from Vancouver for the first time ever on Saturday, November the 30th. Once again, we will see the return of War Games, the dangerous double ring steel cage match that pits two teams against one another in an anything goes battle. This will be the WWE's second premium live event from Canada this year after Money in the Bank was held in Toronto. Ladies and gentlemen, Nick Nemeth wants to defend the TNA title against a top AEW star. Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions. And ladies and gentlemen, we are hearing sad news as a massive star reveals he has been diagnosed with gallstone pancreatitis, that being Joey Janela. Also, viewers, fans, and subscribers, Shane McMahon's reactions and all to AEW about exciting potential opportunities. We do multiple videos a day, every day around the clock. We don't stop for each and every one of you. Subscribe.